Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Now, yeah, I didn't stop. I couldn't stop. I literally could not walk away from this knowing what happened to the last... The last group of people that I was with. It was heartbreaking ev seeing every one of those people that I have been watching since the beginning and trying to help and I came so close. I came so far, I learned so much, and I came so close, and I just didn't get there. I was that close. Ah, eh, probably not. I was probably miles away. I probably- they probably would have died for another reason if it wasn't gonna be food, but it just- Ah, oh, I couldn't leave it at that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm coming back into it. I'm gonna start a new one, and I am gonna go for this because I am ready. So what I want- I don't want anyone who is a destructive asshole. I want vomiters. Because at least vomiting doesn't break your shit. So I'm gonna pay attention to that. <sighs> Alright, this is good. Nah, I can do better than that. Ah, uh, gastrophobia can't cook. Nah, we can do better. Scaredy cat. Can't fight. That's okay. Night owl. Uh, nah. The not so underground fortress, starving space pad. Ugh. That strikes a chord with me. The starving space pad will be the most food abundant space pad in the entire universe. I don't even know where this is in relation to the entire universe, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be okay. All right, so first off, new hope. Yeah, you got new hope, all right. Your crew is awoken, best to start digging. Oh yeah, it is, okay. So everybody just hold on to your horses here, because I'm gonna go through this very methodically. So as we see above us, we got oxalite, uh, which is providing a lot of oxygen, obviously. So we're gonna keep that around. We've got water right there. We've got very adjacent water sources. That's actually quite good. Mealwood there, which is fine. Alright. So the first step of what we're doing, we already have food. I don't need to worry about that for a good long time. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna dig over to here. Hmm. I'm not gonna quite break that wall just yet, but I know we can dig that high. And then we're gonna bring it to this wall here, just in case it decides to break on us. Alright, go for it! When you don't have too many problems, things seem to go a little easier for you. Oh yeah. Oh, now we're getting it. Oh man, I gotta research everything all over again. That was one of the benefits, is I got all my research out of the way first, uh, before, but this time... This time I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it right. We're gonna do it well. Oh, things run so smoothly now. <laughs> this is lovely. I can't believe it. I can hardly believe it. Oh no, Nails is stressed. So oh, what are we gonna do about that? Oh no, stress. Not that. Okay. The other thing that it was a problem in the last game that I did is I built too much. And too much is, uh, is, uh, just as bad as not enough. In my opinion, anyway. Oh good, three beds right there, that'll be perfect. Boingity, boingity, boingity. Perfect. Oh, you just shit yourself. God damn it. We just frickin' did this shit. Reacher station, come on! Come on! Ooh, we're about to get our next duplicant. So the benefit of, um, what we have here is actually there are mealwood plants up here. It's nice and cool up there, it works out well, they're doing their thing, everything is good, but we will need to worry about oxygen very soon, so I'm gonna need them to dig out basically this stuff here. And then I'm gonna put a hold on this stuff because we don't need it immediately. This is not an express concern of ours. So we're gonna have this one, we got research, Farming tech, that's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need farming tech, most definitely. And then everything else can wait until we got farming tech underway. So once that gets powered, which it is now, we're gonna have this just generate novice research out the wazoo until we're good to go. So this is fine. You see how planning makes things go much easier? Wouldn't, who would have thunk it? Man, this is crazy. Oh man, coordination equals cooperation equals love. I love it. Uh-oh. Whoa, what the hell? God damn it. How did that just bury through f that many- Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on! 
Oh, Jesus, of course. If it's not one thing, it's another thing. Well, I guess there goes my water. God damn it. Fucking son of a bitch. Are you joking? Thank you. God damn it. Of course. Oh, God, they're all flooded now. Frickin' wonderful. Frickin' frickin' wonderful. If it's not one thing, it's another. God damn it. All right, any day now on those microbe crushers, that'd be nice. Okay. They're gonna eat, they're gonna eat, they're gonna eat, they're gonna eat a whole lot. We get the algae terrariums going their way, which is good, totally fine. They're gonna use some water that's, again, totally fine. And then eventually we'll just need to focus on getting more. Alright, so we now have these. So we're gonna use these to make lice loaf only. That way we don't have anyone doing a mush bar and they're not getting very, you know, sick. So now that we got that, I'm gonna hold off on the research for now because I need to make... I need to make a refinement thing, which is a composter, right here, because we're gonna need that. Yeah, because we can't just have contaminated dirt sticking around, because that's gonna be bad for everybody. Let's make this a priority build. Alright, so now that this is open here, we can put some farming tech here, some planter boxes. Just a whole boatload of them. We're not gonna run out of food this time! Oh no, not today, not today! Not today, we're gonna put these there, we're gonna get this just unbelievable amounts of meal wood. Okay, so far so good, everything seems to be looking up, there is a puffed right over here that uh, is in a nice sustainable place, so if I can seal that off, keep that puff doing what that puff does, I'll create a double airlock so absolutely no contaminated uh, oxygen gets in our way. And then, uh, should be good. Should be good. Ho! Oh, we got a new person? Come on in! Alright. Uh, oh, all of them are destructive. Good, I guess we're just <laughs> gonna always get destructive. Okay, irritable bowel, uh, uh, Vernon Gus, Sybil, and the farters. Let's get Vernon in here. He doesn't need much to be satisfied. Come on, Vernon, we got work to do! And preferably not death to do. Looks like this might actually be producing some contaminated oxygen. Which I didn't think it was actually doing, but it seems like it is. So I'm not gonna let that get to me. That's definitely not gonna happen. No, 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 not today. Not today. So I gotta really think about this. I've gotta really, really think about the layout. Because what I've created here is... A place where... Every gas can flow between one and the other, so contaminated oxygen is going to affect everything around it. I don't think these terrariums are going to be enough to get through, but they use so little, like, little. They use so little algae. But the problem is, I don't know if it's like, this just does it faster, or what? Yeah, this uses 10, this uses a kilogram of algae per second. Okay, so that's not an equivalent exchange. The better option is algae terrarium. Like, that just is what it is. I'll move them if need be. But I just like, because that's a one-to-one -one ratio. It, it consumes one gram of algae per second to emit a certain amount of oxygen per second, sometimes more than the gram of algae. But the algae deoxidizer takes more algae than it puts out oxygen. So there's no reason to use that, in my opinion, right now. Maybe in the future, yes, but in my opinion, right now, I think it's more beneficial to use the algae terrariums. And just have more of them. Now, the problem is they will use water. And water is a finite resource, and it does use quite a bit of water. So there's that exchange. It's really fascinating how it's so hard to find a point of equilibrium in this game. Like, you're always pushing to do, like, a little more. You have to keep going or else you're gonna die. Like, that's always a constant threat in this game, and, and I really like the challenge because you can never just sit and go like, Okay, I've got this. This is all good. This is good. I like this. We're all done here and I'm happy. That's not the way it goes. You just constantly, always are pushing a little harder because they're always consuming oxygen. They're always consuming food. They're always dying for one reason or another. They're always stressed for one reason or another. So... We'll get there, though. We will get there. 
So, what I need to do is I need to start planning my filtration stuff. Because the research is almost done on the supercomputer. It'll be there probably before the end of the day. And then I need to start building the two-stage uh, filtration center for, like, the dump of all the, the... the dump for the other stuff, and then... You know, yada yada yada. Okay, stress is down! Stress is at zero! Yes, we're keeping stress down. Okay, that's good. So, we've got tons and tons of algae all over the place. And oxalite, but that's not really a big deal. We got a good bit of oxygen up there. Oh, what? Oh, Vernon, god damn it. Mop that up. Damn it, Vernon, the bathroom is right there. Oh, it needs to be. Oops. Oopsies! Oopsie poopsies, indeed. Okay, so, I've got the liquid stuff. Oh, we got harvest time, baby! Oh, we got harvest time. Do I have a refrigerator yet? No, I do not. Fine dining research, but that's coming next after sanitation. Oh, shit, yeah. But I think that'll be okay, because that, that's gonna be enough to... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give us all- give us all that. Oh, hell yes. Make all the meal lice loaf loaf lice loaf. Loaf laces. Leaf laces. Okay, there we go. Cool. So now the water is gonna be kinda uh oh. Well, Gabrielle, you done you done fucked yourself now. Alright, how about you try to try to get out over there first. Yeah. Go for it, Gabrielle. Sorry, you were stuck. Oh, someone Vernon, why are you stressed, Vernon? Oh, because you're literally in the the bullshit there. Okay. So what we're gonna need. We need to run, number one, run power through the floor, uh, here. So power's gonna run through the floor, power's gonna follow down here, and then we're gonna build a water pump down here, liquid pump, right at the base in there, probably, yeah, probably there's good. And then we're gonna liquid pipe. So that's pumping out, so that needs to pump into the in of this. So I need to have a liquid bridge of some sort. A liquid pipe bridge, and then this can go underneath it. Yeah, yeah, that's how you do it, okay. And then the out is where contaminated water is, so then that can run... That can, okay, that could run over there to that pool, but I'll need to be careful about that because it's gonna be... That's gonna, again, that's gonna be contaminated area, so I need to build an airlock, a tile. I need to retile this one eventually, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Okay, so I just like the double airlock, you know, idea, just so it makes sure that no contaminated oxygen can slip through. We got tons and tons of oxygen in here. This is pretty much saturated with oxygen. We've got a good bit of algae left, so we're going good there. We're we're running- we ran out of our first source of water. I want to make sure we don't run out of this one, too. Um, I'll try to make an exchange here as well, but I don't see a puffed. But we'll get there when we get there, once again. We'll get there when- we, this is- this- all this water is literally just for showering and sanitation purposes only. And once again, it's just Vernon that seems to be stressed more than anybody else. Alright, so that's mostly done. So, this just needs power now. So once this goes, it should go, and then these should be running, correct? And then we'll have... Oh, uh, no, they won't, because then they don't have an outpouring yet, but they will. So what we're gonna do is, after this, we're gonna build a ladder down. And then it's just going to be piping. There, there, and there, there, and then it's just gonna literally fall right there. Okay. And then that should be all that is needed. Ooh. Hey, hey, okay. I'm actually kind of worried because things seem to be going pretty well for me, and they don't usually do that when I'm playing this game, so I'm a little bit cautious of what's going on here. Just don't want to be too eager about nothing until I get to where I need to get. Ah! Oh, look at that! They can shower! Holy shit, it worked! Oh my god. But not yet, because they gotta get the outflows too, but... Oh, man, that works. Holy shit. Yeah, I just- I don't want to back up to con- like, be in there. Oh shit. Okay, keep building that. Stop letting so much contaminated oxygen in, okay? Can you not do that? The double airlock was supposed to prevent that, thank you very much. Okay, you don't need to go through there anymore. In fact, I might make that other door- Yeah, I'm actually gonna do this. We're gonna build this and we're just gonna get rid of that one. But not until we build that one. 
Not until we build that one do you get rid of that one. Just make them farther away from each other. All right, whatever. I guess we're gonna have a leak. No, build the other airlock. God damn it, you sons of bitches. You sons of bitches causing problems for me. Is that what you're doing? Causing problems? Huh? Gonna be like that? Okay, stress is way down. Stress is way- Vernon is still a little stressed. I don't know, maybe he's just a whiny baby, but, uh, stress seems to be way down and I'm pretty happy about that. I'm also pretty happy with the way this is going. And, uh, you may have noticed that I've been a little hesitant to go meet the people that are part of this, but I just- I don't want to lose again, you know? I don't want to feel like- I don't want to feel like they're gone, so I just let them- hold them at them arm's length until I feel honored to be part of them. Ooh, ready for harvest. Hell yeah, birdie muckery. Harvest that shit. Okay, so we're gonna go over there. Hmm. Jobs. Oh, they can have- Oh, I did- They can have specialized jobs! Oh, I didn't know that! Ow! Well, I don't have anything that I want them to do just right away, but I'm just gonna- Oh, I could definitely specialize them later. God, definitely I could. Shit, yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... I'm going to... We're gonna... We're gonna build... Oh, we don't have the extra power research. That's right. Okay, so as soon as fine dining is done, we're gonna do more, yada, yada, yada. But this- I mean, this is fine for what it is. The pump isn't going all the time, so... Seems to be doing just fine. Okay, research complete. Oh, I thought that was the sound of the research being done. Supercomputer, go! Go, supercomputer, go! Go, supercomputer. Supercomputer, can you go? Please. I still don't know if that's enough space in between the two of them, but I'm gonna... I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, but anyway, that was the sound of it. Okay, so we need to make a refrigerator. What we need to do? For the food storage, so we're gonna make a refrigerator up here because I wanted to run power up here anyway because I'm gonna make this the mess hall. Just something nice for them to have and enjoy. Oops. Let's get to that one. Yeah. Yeah, because now they've got in the furniture department the- Oh, they don't! Oh, we need interior decor. Oh, fine then. Ooh, insulated tiles. But I need temperature regulation to do that. Mmm. I could do- I could use the last simple one. I'll do that. Okay. We'll just have that up there. We'll, we'll eventually have more, but just for now, that's where that will be. Yep. Is that a newbie? That might be a newbie. Newbie, come on in. Come on in, Bubba. Alright, Grease Monkey and Mole Hands. Nice. Narcoleptic. Bertrand, all destructive. I, I'll take this one. Bertrand, come on in. Bertrand, love you, Bubba. All right, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're all doing great. Okay, we've got a lot of food, actually. We've got a whole hell of a lot of food. Lots of life slopes. I would rather have them in the refrigerator, but I think it's okay. Okay, this is where things are gonna get a little bit dicey. We need to do quite a few things before we can continue on. Because every single time I approach this slime, I have to be mindful of the contaminated oxygen and the contaminated water. So even before I go in there and do this stuff, I need to have a system set up to gather slime and contain it. Because what I want to do is I want to make a water filter to put this stuff and, and bring it into here so that we can have purified water coming into here. Which is fine, because that's good. Uh, but in order to do that, we have to have a better system. Suffocate! Whoa! Who's suffocating? Who's suffocating? Who the hell is suffocating? Oh my god! Brady, what the fuck happened to you? God damn it, Brady, what the fuck? Someone save him, uh, now? Are you kidding me? Is that what the sound I was hearing was? Somebody save him! Destruct at a priority of nine! God damn it! Oh no. Brady, Brady. Oh my god, Brady. Jesus Christ, what happened? What the fuck happened to you? Oh boy, yeah, I didn't plan that correctly. Okay, all right then. Well, we got a lot of contaminated <laughs> contaminated oxygen leakage there, but holy shit. Jesus. 
Alrighty then. Okay, so what I've done is a little bit complicated, admittedly. I've created a way to have this water purifier down here. They'll dig out through this ladder to get down here. They'll build a wall around here. The pipe will go around it, blah, blah, blah. So it looks complicated. It's not really. Um, they just got to do it, and hopefully not too much contaminated oxygen gets through this. So I'm pretty sure this is good. So I'm just going to let this go and have them all do it. It doesn't really matter the order because it's all contained over there. And then the slime is ready for there, just in case they get it or any of that or whatever have you. And then what I could do is if I have a purifier here and air deodorizer, I can put this right here to remove contaminated oxygen from this zone here. I'd probably be better off having it over here, considering it needs, um... It doesn't need power, and then that needs oxygen anyway. It looks like I need to get rid of some carbon dioxide here, so weirdly enough, I think I need an algae, an algae terrarium, I think. Oh, time for bed. Never mind. You'll do that tomorrow. So hold on. I still got a lot of work to do, but we'll get there in, in short. Bertrand, that is a bad place to sleep. That is like the worst place you could possibly have decided to sleep. I applaud your tenacity, but... You're extremely foolish. All right, good luck. Stress is gonna rise from this a little bit, but I hope it's gonna be okay over time. And I put this here because this is gonna be the beginning of another slime refinement. Because if there's slime refinement right here, which might actually be better than that over there, uh, I can drop right into my already pre-made filtration system, and then eventually I'm gonna cut over here. Can we get a top priority dig to uh, get these together, please? Thank you! Oh, look at them go. They're so studious. When you got a plan, things work out. Things work out so good. Things work out so good. Man, I've I've been I've been doing this for a, an hour and a half now. I, I can't even I don't even think I've been playing that long just because that's how much fun I've been playing. I've been recording this for an hour and a half. I just realized that. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> I should probably put this to a stop for now. So, I'm going to end this here. I've been having a crazy amount of fun with this one. This is probably the last one that I'm gonna record for today, just because I'd just be playing it for hours and hours if I didn't. But I'm back, I think I've got a good strategy, I think I know where to go with this, so I'm gonna keep hitting it in the next episode. Yes, I'm gonna keep playing because I freaking love this game. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye